In the top left of Nightshade, it's the Pink Toss, Zest. And in the bottom right, as the Blue Terran, it's Bomber. Grand Finals are best of five, 100 US dollars, as well as the lion's share of those 25, ESL, or uh, 15 ESL Pro Tour points. I believe the winner gets 10, loser gets five points, if I recall correctly. Don't, don't trust my memory here. Exclamation bracket in the chat if you want to double check me. But, uh... Yeah, Sess is going to block off the Reaper jump. Bomber with the Reaper expand. Zest. Going for an Adept, dropping the Chrono Boost, gonna chase the Reaper around when it arrives. Is it though? Wait, did he not get a Reaper? I don't think he got a Reaper. No, he opened Marine. Okay. Bomber opening Marine. Gonna pull it back, get a Bunker. Two more where that came from. Factory about halfway done as well. I think the Marines might have been far out enough that Zest could have uh, got the delay on the natural CC, but Zest didn't want to risk it. He's going to go back in with the Stalker, maybe? But I don't think he has enough to break this. Zest putting Blink on the menu. Bomber with the Starport about to finish. Gonna swap the starport onto the tech lab. Means Banshee. Robotics facility. For a Protoss. And. Zest getting a third, shooting up in workers. Um, I think we might see a two base play here from Bomber. He is skyrocketing an army supply. Zest keeps harassing with the shade. Blocked every time. This time, Zest lets the shade complete. Is going to lose the adept for it. Um, backs the stalker up. Sends in the observer.
Bomber, getting another Rax. Getting to pump out Marauder, getting Stim. And gonna build a Rax on the Tech Lab as the Starport moves off. Banshee a little bit delayed going out. Two Banshee moving into the third. Um, even if this shield battery finishes, it's going to be negligible. Two Banshee can take down a probe uh, with a shield battery there. Yeah, I mean, Bomber doing Terran things. Stim about to finish. Plus one. Pretty close as well. There's Stim. Bomber pushes out, takes his third, and secures it. Zess, in the meantime, has charge almost finished here. Plus one almost finished as well. Zest poking in, but there's no way with his current army count that he breaks in on this tank. So he's just harassing, picking off a couple workers at a time. Hoping to gain some level of lead. Um, now, workers being uh, slightly ahead for Zest doesn't really matter here. Remember, bomb is or er, bomb, <laughs> bomb. I uh, I try to say boom and uh, bomber at the same time, but bomber has three CCs dropping mules, so he's actually quite a bit ahead in economy, um, despite the worker lead for zest. I like the um, floating bear, uh, factory overlord scout to uh, see if there's any incoming drops from Zest. Armor almost finished for the Protoss. Bomber. With armor almost finished. Plus two weapons. Just started up. Zest. Gonna have storm very shortly here. Yeah, he really needs to save each and every one of these stalkers. Storm, so close to being finished here. There it is. Bomber hitting at the third and the net. Gonna eat some storm, also picks off a high temp, but eats way more storm. Blink forward, injuring some of the medevacs, cleaning up the bio. 
And bomber's attack is held. Zest. Pushing forward, uh, Bomber. Turning from the attacker to the attacked. Uh, Zest loses a high Templar that had Storm on it. That feels bad. Uh, Storm really would have done him some good against this Marauder heavy army. But I think he can engage here, but he's going to choose not to. Bomber. Gonna take a fourth base here soon. Hey, thank you for the follow, Kristoff1493. Um, I do have follower notifications turned off uh, while I'm casting for this event, but thank you nonetheless. Zest gonna lose his own fourth and quite a bit of probes, actually. That was a great storm from Zest. Charge lots gonna cut down the retreating infantry. Bomber. Going to get another pick on this fourth nexus, though. That's a kill, not a cancel. Bomber loses 20 SCVs, and he almost certainly will lose his third CC. No, Stalkers! No! You could have picked off the CC! Ah, feels bad. Slack and Stalkers. Zest does get the kill on the 4th CC. This is a pretty dire situation for Bomber. Uh, you'll notice Terran Kind of mines out a little bit faster thanks to mules. GG. Zass takes game number one. in the top right corner as the pink protoss it's zest and in the bottom left as the red terran it's bomber zest taking game number one That is a pretty aggressive proxy pylon here from Zest. First gateway, um, almost halfway done back home. It is going to be a proxy gate.
Cybercore finishing back home for Zest. This Marine's a little bit scared. Uh, doesn't want to overextend. Zest. Getting an Adept back home. Getting a Stalker at the proxy. Bomber. Just getting his... Doing his normal build thing, man. Getting the bunker at the front. Marine opener. Reactor on the barracks. Gonna pump out two more Marines. Bunker is finished. The Stalker is zoned out. And the CC should not get delayed here. But a second Stalker coming out means the CC might get delayed, question mark. You go behind the mineral line and just go to town. But it looks like Zest does not want to do that, and he's going for a Stargate. Third CC on the way here for Bomber. I don't think that the death makes out alive. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oracle about halfway done for Zest. Stim about halfway done for the Terran. Supply Depot gets up in frame perfect time. Two SCVs go down in the main, but uh, also several Marines, both in the main and in the natural. Zest, still keeping Bomber contained, quote-unquote, but only on two base himself. Uh, not too much of a worker lead here for Zest. Zest getting a second Oracle out. This is a pretty good engagement for the Protoss. A lot of Marines went down here. Minimal losses for Zest. It's a lot of great angles the Oracles can go into, and if the Marines pull out of the bunker, that can leave an opening for an attack on the front. Oracles running a little low on energy, though. Zest, getting a third. Still content to contain the Terran. Forge, Twilight, Robo. Coming out for the toss. Bomber, combat shields finished up. Just another barracks thrown down. First force field, not perfect. Second force field, gonna get the job done. Locking out that ramp. Zest didn't commit to killing the bunker, though.
bomber is going to get the repair off. Oracle's going to town in the main. Getting four. Yeah, they're not going to get the fifth. But a little bit low on energy. Have to back off. And finally, Bomber's going to clean up the proxy. A Zest returns home. Here they come again. Bomber, down 11 workers. Is going to move out of base, which is going to alleviate some of his economic trouble. Triple medevac drop going toward the natural of Zest. Cannon's shield battery going to hold for a little while while the army responds. Um, they should able to get in position in time to prevent any major da wait did he just get the medevacs go what the heck i think he decided against it oh well free okay Plus one, finishing for the Protoss, extended Thermal Lance on the way, as well as Charge, as well as a Colossi. Out of those three, only the Colossi, well, I don't think Bomber's going to push out too quickly. Um, that'll likely mean at least Charge is on the field for this next engagement. He had a bad day. Bomber triggers the first of three stasis wards, and they're going to be on the field for a long time. Dept will scout, change an army position. Bomber going for a drop uh, with two medevacs. Will cancel armor at least, but lose the bio for his efforts. Zest trying to hold off the assault on the fourth base. And he will successfully deflect. It's interesting to see Bomber tonight, you know, he's, uh, especially against the Protoss, oh, well, first of all, against the Protoss, he, he keeps walking into Stasis Wards, like, all night. Um, it's gonna try and engage here, if only he had twice the amount of units, he could crush this. Oh, Zest, don't move into a trap, okay.
Man, if only Palmer could, like, could have sealed the deal on so many of these TV Protoss. Um, if he would just stop running into Stasis Wards. These are like the bane of Bomber's existence. That's a Colossus I down. Um, it's a heck of a lot of medevacs, but the Marauder counts dwindling. Medevacs try to run away. Uh, several do get picked off. Bomber has a decent amount of gas behind this, but is a little bit lagging in the mineral department. Or a bunch of mules is gonna fix that for him. Supply depots getting picked off here. Nothing major, but. Still hurts for Bomber. He's on a limited economy as it is, and uh, it's getting even more limited. He's trying to expand here at the fourth location. That's just not going to happen. There's too much Protoss on the field. Blink forward. When you get us around on these remaining Marauders, they all go down. Bomber forced to lift the fourth. And Zest is looking absolutely unstoppable. Colossi come in from the back. Here's another blink. GG! And Zest goes up 2-0 in the best of five. In the top left, up 2-0 in the best of five. It's our pink toss, Zest. And in the bottom right corner as the blue Terran, it's Bomber. Bomber's got an uphill battle. Zest has two games to play around with. Pile on on the Reaper jump. The question is, do either of these guys cheese? Or do they stick to their builds? Because Zest has shown... Um, I mean, he's not exactly dominating Bomber. These are close games, as they have been all night. But Zest come out ahead twice. Like, what's, what's Bomber going to do to turn it around? Is he going to stick to his build? Is he going to make slight variations during the series? Um, he's got to win three in a row if he wants that prize money. Zest going for the adept again, dropping a proxy pylon. This time, Bomber is onto it. Gonna poke away the probe. Zest shading forward, bunker at the front. Injured SCV building the CC. Will he go for the delay this time?
Resonating Glaive started up for a pink toss. Cyclone coming out for Bomber. Okay, this is... Hmm. Cyclone Marine to hold the front. Just has dropped a proxy uh, gateway at his proxy pylon. The Depths are going to complete the shade because Bomber just doesn't have enough to engage this. Two Marines left. Depths can more than handle it. Here comes the Cyclone. Uh, it will immediately pick one of the Adepts, but nice damage here. Robotics facility coming up for Zest. This is a massive big game shade forward onto the tank. They will get the kill and two volleys. Zest EVs will get majorly slaughtered. Bomber doing the best he can to hold on here. Marines doing good work picking off the attempts, but not before 17. SCVs, 18 even, go down, plus the tank, plus some marines. Um, I don't know why I left click there. Zest. Uh, thinks about continuing the pressure, but decides not to. Bomber, fighting an uphill battle in the worker count. Zest getting the third up behind this. Yeah. No! Bomber! Go in! Go in the bunker! Go in the bunker, Bomber! Oh, he'll be fine. But <laughs> for losing nine more SCVs! That is devastatingly effective. Oh. Ah, uh, sh Nikes. Here we go again. Cyclone goes down. Some Marine's gonna get picked off. And three Adepts are gonna hit the mineral line again. Are they though? No, nope, they're gonna wait for their friends. This is not safe for Terran. A Dark Shrine halfway done behind this too, and a Warp Prism coming out. And Zest still triple pumping probes. Oh, he's gonna elevator the adepts to the main to meet with a warp in. And then shake it to the natural. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Eighteen more probes go down. Bomber doing the absolute best he can to stay in this game, but things are very dire here for the Terran. Zest with another four worker kills. Swings into the net. He has five more gateways finishing behind this. That was a brave marine. But a foolish one. Six. Our SCPs go down. It's 27 workers to 51. And the Terran 
is in shambles. Plus one has gotten onto the field. Marauder slow started up. Bio continuing to trickle out, but... It's a slaughterhouse. Behind this... I mean, hey, the medevac drop picks off nine probes. That's a start on evening things up. DT and Stalker going to clean the bio up, though. Medevac's going to get the heck out of dodge. Well, one of them is, anyway. Um, 11 probe damage, still not enough to even the odds. Ugh. Prism finally gets picked off by Bomber, and he's going to move out his third CC. Zest not relenting on the pressure, though. GG is called, and Zest takes the series 3 0 to become your ESL Asian, uh, Asia Open Cup number five grand champion. He will take home. $100 as well as the lion's share of those ESL Pro Tour points. Thank you guys so much for watching. Well, let me let me go to my splash screen here.